STS-75 was a United States NASA Space Shuttle mission, the 19th mission of the Columbia Orbiter. Topic: Crew. Topic: Mission objective. Topic: Tethered satellite system. The primary objective of STS-75 was to carry the tethered satellite system reflight (TSS-1R) into orbit and to deploy it spaceward on a conducting tether. The mission also flew the United States microgravity payload (USMP-3), designed to investigate materials science and condensed matter physics. The TSS-1R mission was a reflight of TSS-1 which was flown on board Space Shuttle Atlantis on STS-46 in July, August 1992. The Tether satellite system circled the Earth at an altitude of 296 km, placing the Tether system within the rarefied electrically charged layer of the atmosphere known as the ionosphere. STS-75 mission scientists hoped to deploy the tether to a distance of 20.7 km miles. Over 19 km of the tether were deployed before the tether broke. It remained in orbit for a number of weeks and was easily visible from the ground, appearing something like a small but surprisingly bright fluorescent light traveling through the sky. The electric conductor of the tether was a copper braid wound around a nylon Nomex string. It was encased in Teflon-like insulation, with an outer cover of Kevlar, inside a nylon Nomex sheath. The culprit turned out to be the innermost core, made of a porous material which, during its manufacture, trapped many bubbles of air, at atmospheric pressure. Later vacuum chamber experiments suggested that the unwinding of the reel uncovered pinholes in the insulation. That in itself would not have caused a major problem, because the ionosphere around the tether, under normal circumstance, was too rarefied to divert much of the current. However, the air trapped in the insulation changed that. As it bubbled out of the pinholes, the high voltage of the nearby tether, about 3,500 volts, converted it into a plasma in a way similar to the ignition of a fluorescent tube, a relatively dense one and therefore a much better conductor of electricity. This plasma diverted to the metal of the shuttle and from there to the ionospheric return circuit. That current was enough to melt the cable. The specific TSS-1R mission objectives were, characterize the current voltage response of the TSS orbiter system, characterize the satellite's high voltage sheath structure and current collection process, demonstrate electric power generation, verify tether control laws and basic tether dynamics, demonstrate the effect of neutral gas on the plasma sheath and current collection, characterize the TSS radio frequency and plasma wave emissions and characterize the TSS dynamics dynamic electrodynamic coupling TSS-1R science investigations included TSS deployer core equipment and satellite core equipment DCORE score research on orbital plasma electrodynamics rope research on electrodynamic tether effects RETI, magnetic field experiment for TSS missions TEMAG shuttle electrodynamic tether system sets shuttle potential and return electron experiment SPREE, tether optical phenomena experiment top Investigation of electromagnetic emissions by the electrodynamic tether Emmet, observations at the Earth's surface of electromagnetic emissions by TSS OESSE, investigation and measurement of dynamic noise in the TSS IMDN, theoretical and experimental investigation of TSS dynamics TEID, and the theory and modeling in support of tethered satellite applications TMST. Other mission objectives The USMP-3 payload consisted of four major experiments mounted on two Mission Peculiar Experiment Support Structures and three Shuttle Mid-Deck Experiments. 
The experiments were, Advanced Automated Directional Solidification Furnace AADSF, Material Polar A2 des Phenomenes Intrason La Solidification sur Terre et en Orbite Mephisto, Space Acceleration Measurement System SAMS, Orbital Acceleration Research Experiment or, Critical Fluid Light Scattering Experiment Zeno, and Isothermal Dendritic Growth Experiment IDGE. Topic. Operating system STS-75 also was the first use of an operating system based on the Linux kernel on orbit. An older digital Unix program, originally on a DEC alpha server, was ported to run Linux on a laptop. The next use of Linux was a year later, on STS-83. Topic. Fictional STS-75 mission STS-75 was the shuttle mission described in the fictional NASA document 12-571-3570, although this document was disseminated several years before STS-75 was launched. The document purports to report on experiments to determine effective sexual positions in microgravity. Astronomer and scientific writer Pierre Kohler mistook this document for fact and is responsible for a major increase in its redistribution in the early 21st century. Conspiracy theories first made in the early beginnings of the shuttle era of sex in space were suddenly made rampant again, causing a minor press debacle among tabloids. 